Assessment 3.22 has us using Newman projections for the first time. Um, in this drawing, what they have labeled as letter A is the front carbon, and what they have labeled as letter B in the back, that is the back carbon for both of these things. So what they want us to do is create a line angle drawing, and they want us to use the wedges. So as a reminder, anything on a dashed wedge is going behind the page, and anything with a solid wedge is coming in front of the page. Anything on just a regular line, that's a bond that is in plane with the page. What I do, my preferred way of doing this, is to take the one in the front and move it to the left. Take the one in the back and move it to the right. It may be easier for you to do this when you're first learning with the molecular modeling kit because you can physically hold it and turn it to see what happens. But what we have to do is envision ourselves pushing this thing backwards unfortunately, in 3D on a 2D piece of paper. So one thing I can tell you, though, a trick that I use, is anything that is straight up and down, those are going to be in plane with the paper. So that being said, we're going to end up with a bond that is in the middle, of course, connecting the two carbons. I do them up and down, um, and I simply do them up and down because I like to keep my big groups as far away as possible from one another. We talked about energy conformation and how that energy affects conformations. So that's why I do that. So in the front, we have this bromine. And in the back, we have that hydrogen. So those two are done. Now all we have to do is envision what happens when we take this molecule and shove it to the back. We end up with a methyl group that is and I'll do it pointing up. We end up with a methyl group that is pointing backwards. Now, I'm just going to leave it like this. You are more than welcome to write H3C or CH3 there, but you don't have to. One carbon, one little line, that is a methyl group. That's one carbon. Um, and what happens to the hydrogen there is that it comes to the front if we push this thing backwards. Um, what happens when we pull the back forward you have to imagine that the CH3 group is coming to the front. So I'll do this like that. No, I'm not going to do that like that. I'm going to do it like this, the opposite. So we have a CH3 group, again, on a methyl group. You can just leave it like that, or you can write the CH3. That's fine. And then you end up with one hydrogen that goes to the back, and you do have to write the H for a hydrogen. Um, and that's it. So for that one, that's it. The next one is a little bit different, but you can still follow the same rule of anything pointing up. Those are going to be the ones, or down, those are going to be the ones that are in plain with the paper. So in the front, we have, actually, I should have done this first. There we go. In the front, we have our hydrogen. This is our front carbon, the one in the back that we can't see is the back. And pointing up and down, we have a CH3 group, which you can leave that line right there, or you can put CH3. When we shove that to the back, when we take the, that one bond and push it to the back, I envision the methyl group coming out of the paper and the hydrogen going to the back of the paper. So I envision the hydrogen going to the back, and I envision a methyl group coming to the front. And when we take this back and turn it, we end up with one hydrogen going to the back. And then we end up with one hydrogen going to the front. Yeah, I don't know why my wedge looks like that, but <laughs> it does. And then we end up with one going to the front. And that's it for that one. Um, so that's how you work these Newman projection problems. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, when you're learning this, it's best to have a molecular modeling kit. There is a link to one in the syllabus. Um, it's not a any type of like promotional link or any type of, um, uh, what would you call it? Um, what are those things called? Whenever people have link in bio and they end up selling it. Commission. Yeah, it's not a commission link or anything like that. It's just one that I prefer that I really like um, on Amazon for $19. It's a re reasonably priced molecular modeling kit for students. Um, so yeah, I recommend getting one of those. You can use it on the test. And in the meantime, let me know if you have any questions.